morning, Calvary Chapel, French Valley. I wanted to read out of Isaiah 30, verse 30, just the first part of it. It says, the Lord will cause his glorious voice to be heard. You know, you can count on that. You can know that God is speaking, that he's in control, and we can take that everywhere we go, through the difficult times, through the good times. Amen? Just want to share with you um, things in uh, Indonesia got a little bit hairy this week. There was a cyclone that came through, and some of the um, homes of our uh, staff on the island of Kupang were messed up, but uh, it was headed towards Bali, where Pastor Brandon is, but it worked out and there was no problems there. But, uh, you know, we support um, that ministry over there, and so we need to constantly be in prayer for them as well. So with that, let's go to prayer and pray over our service. Father, what a blessing that it is to be able to gather together. I pray, Father, that um, you would just put your hand upon each person here. There are those, Father, that are struggling with different things. There are some that are just joyous. We're thankful for people coming, Father, and attending again. Pray, Father, for those that are struggling with uh, pain and um, issues related to that. Pray that you would just come alongside, Father. Pray for this service that as Pastor Rick prepares to share what you've given him, that, uh, Lord, that it would come out in spirit and in truth, especially, Lord, in that truth of your word. Pray for our worship team that you would just bless them to, as they bring us in, Father, to your presence um, help us to come into your presence with praise and thanksgiving. Bless this service that your name alone would be high and lifted up. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, okay, April 17th, that's next Saturday. And Cindy had to say that. Not one man said it. Let's try that again. Next Saturday is... There we go. At least Pastor Rick knew. Um, the men's breakfast is taking place here. And, um, you know, it's kickoff to the men's getting back. Men getting back. No, the men's. We have the meats. No. <laughs> that was a good one. Men's prayer breakfast is next Saturday, April the 17th. First time in a long time. So guys, come together and um, fellowship, not only uh, to be a part of um, the men's ministry and listen to a word from Pastor Rick, but also um, just to uh, pour into each other's lives. So next Saturday, April the 17th. And just for your information, Be Still Ministries, who um, will worship here in the evening on Sundays. Their first get-together was last week, and um, it was a great time for them to fellowship, especially since they hadn't been together for over a year. So what a blessing that that is. Today is the uh, what they call Yom Hoshua. Uh, that is the day of remembrance. But um, for us, it's the March of Remembrance, Remembering the Holocaust. And so at th it starts at 3 o'clock. Um, if you want information about it, it's just a remembrance of what took place in the Holocaust. And this will be the eighth um, March of Remembrance that have been held in Marietta. And so um, it is a great time of just getting together, together. And not that it's great, because the atrocities of the Holocaust uh, were, were really bad, you know. Um, but it's an opportunity to remember um, General Eisenhower, when he went and helped liberate and he saw the atrocities, he said, we need to take pictures and we need to make sure that this is um, a memorialized because people are going to forget. And so um, this is our opportunity here to demonstrate that we will never forget and we'll say never again. And so that's today. It's at 412 Church. If you need more information, you can contact me um, after service and I'll tell you where that is at. Um, but it's a march of remembrance. Um, it's not a true march like we used to do. You get to go to different places within the, um, at 412 Church around in their parking lot to hear and see what things happen during it. Um, it's, um, I won't say the next best thing of going to Israel and going to Yad Vashem, uh, which is the uh, Holocaust Memorial there, but it gives you a good feel for what took place there. And we as Christians need to be involved. 
Pray for the leadership of our, of our nation. Um, in case you're wondering, um, they've kind of missed uh, the mark in a lot of ways. Um, number one, I, I, I can't see it from the fruit that a lot of them know Jesus Christ. We need to be praying for that. God calls us to do that. And so we need to be praying for our leaders that things would go better for us as well as for this nation. So make sure you're doing that. Pray specifically for a senator or a secretary uh, in this government, the president and the vice president, that God would really speak to their heart. You know, prayer does change things. Um, God relented when Moses went to him and said, no, God, you can't do this. You shouldn't do this. The Lord heard his voice and he relented. We need to be in that powerful type prayer to help God see. Um, he knows what's going to happen, but he, God can see our heart, how important that our nation is to, for it to be doing the things that it used to do, sending out missionaries, um, uh, just worshiping God. We're a godly nation. We're kind of moving away from that. So sinners in our prayers. So let's be in prayer over our nation. Pray for Israel. Um, that flag up there is important, you know, not because that's our country, but ultimately it's going to be our country. Zion, where Jerusalem is, is uh, part, of our, part of who we are. It's our heritage. And so we need to be in prayer over Jerusalem and um, um, over Israel. Uh, they haven't formed a government yet. That's still in the process. May not happen. They may go to a fifth election, and that's frustrating everybody over there. Um, so be in prayer. God's still doing something that's really unique there, and it's going to be miraculous. So let's be in prayer over that. Pray for each other. You know, so important when God calls you to pray for Pastor Rick or, uh, you know, whomever that comes upon your heart, that you do that. You don't just shine it on and not worry about it. it it's so important to pray for those that God puts on your heart. Well, with that, let's pray. Father, what a blessing that it is to know that you've given us the ability to remember. It's part of what we're going to hear about today, Father, remembering. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, be with this nation. Lord, you uh, rose, allowed this nation to rise up, founded upon your word. I pray for revival to come to the United States. Pray for our Congress. Pray for our leadership that you would convict their hearts to see Jesus Christ and him crucified. I pray, Father, for Israel, that you would bring peace to Jerusalem. I pray, Father, for this election, that you would do a great and mighty work. Lord, just reminded of the simple fact that you are God. There is no other. And as you've told us, Father, that um, the idols that we put up in our hearts and our mind, they'll be wiped out, and we will get to be with you totally. Lord, what a blessing that that will be. Bless our worship. Bless our teaching that you, Father, would be seen by each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen.